you rolling? Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll introduce each other. Okay, this is Athena Dai. She is our technical designer. This is Jen. Jen's our design director. Okay, well, this is Natalie Pellman. She's our concept artist. And this is Jay Mack. He's our VP of engineering. My name's Colton. I'm a gameplay engineer here at LED. We are making a hero-based extraction game with a little bit of RPG elements and MOBA-inspired gameplay. Seekers of Skyvale is a fantasy extraction game where you go on expeditions to explore and hunt for treasure in dangerous areas that have been uncovered by aura storms. You and your team jump into a match, look for opportunities, fight creatures, fight players, overcome obstacles in the map, collect loot, and then try to escape with that loot. It's set in very lawless land, so it's a very difficult game to get into at first, but it's very rewarding once you put the time in. Rival Seeker defeated. So you're going to start the match by picking your favorite Seeker. The match is a play style for you. You're going to pick some of the gear that you may have acquired from earlier runs that is also going to fit that play style. You're going to drop in with some other players into the Everbloom. Which is what we call sort of our match map. You're in this sort of like mad scramble to like level and get gear and defeat creatures and like all this kind of stuff. After a while, you may start to encounter signs of other players. You might see loot on the ground or broken pots, and you can trace those down to find those players. A representation for my bloodthirsty girlies out there. I am part of the sort of class of people who go on like little hunts and like hunt people down and scavenge my gear off of them instead. If you're able to do all that and kind of survive until the very end, then you extract, get out, gloat about all the good shit that you got and rinse and repeat. And then that's a match. As you go deeper and deeper into this experience, you're going to be getting higher quality loot so that you can actually achieve getting into different mini bosses and then eventually tackling the heart of the forest, which which has two enormous bosses at the center. The concept of an extraction game loop, which is this sort of, you get in, you get stuff, you get out, and you keep the stuff that you went into that sort of cyclical match with. I feel like that concept is like super tied to shooters in general, because that is sort of where the genre you know, like came. Tarkov. Yeah, exactly. Tarkov. Like if you look at tags on Steam, it just says extraction shooter. There's no actual extraction tag. So I I'm did just- not know that. Yeah. Wow, yeah. okay. <laughs> but, I feel like that sort of fundamental extraction game loop can do so much more. When we first started looking at the extraction genre, we were a little worried that it might feel too punishing to just lose all of your stuff all the time. We're kind of approaching this with sort of a low skill floor, high skill ceiling mm -hmm. kind of play. And so a big difference in us compared to other extraction games is you get to keep a little bit of things. You might get to gain a little bit of experience to put towards your seeker mastery to level up your seeker. You might get to keep some gold you picked up off the ground to invest in your stash. Every match you're improving a little bit on all fronts. So even if you don't make a lot of progress that match, it's okay, you can go in again. Games in this genre are very dark or grim or gritty, but we just want to instill a much more hopeful nature, I think, in our game. At a glance, it reads as very fun and vibrant fantasy, but the Seekers more specifically, because that's what I work on, we want to take very modern silhouettes and shapes and kind of fashion that you could probably see every day, just like on the streets, but add a fantasy flair to them. I would wear every single outfit that that has made and all of their shoes and wear all of their oh, shoes. Thank as you. Well. <laughs> thank you. I would say we're definitely still in a closed alpha state. There's a lot of our core gameplay that we've already locked in on. We've been really iterating on what our seeker kits are like, their abilities, how they interact with both the environment and other players. We've been working a lot on our net code to make everything feel really fluid. And so that moment to moment combat of hitting someone, that hit feeling really, really good and punchy, I think is something we're really starting to nail down. I feel like it hits kind of those sort of twitchy, reactive notes that more action -y games have, but then you keep a lot of that sort of MOBA positioning flavor to it, or like sort of where you're placed really matters. And it just all feels like those like big flashy team fights. I feel like we crank the tension up to like 11 in a good way, but it means like every time I'm trying to like escape like a super bad encounter, my heart is racing when I'm doing that, when I'm like extracting 30 seconds left. Yeah, the and game I'm is like... a butt clencher, I'll say. <laughs> it is, it is, it's like, exactly it. You can feel your knuckles going white. Just, you're so tense, you can feel your heart beating through your rib cage. Like it's, it's one of those kind of games.
for sure. For sure, for sure. I would say the thing that we could use the most work on is that long-term metagame. We want Seekers to be a game that you can play for hundreds and thousands of hours. We've been playtesting about every two weeks with players, which has been great. We have a bunch of really dedicated players. They've been giving us great feedback. We take that feedback and we talk about it the very next day. It's allowed us to iterate really quickly on our gameplay, on the map, uh, on the overall experience and, and turn that back into something that players can play just two weeks later. And I personally read every single line of feedback in our Discord and in all of our forums, and it's it's really helped me as a developer. And it's been extremely helpful to have the players just working with us to make the game better and developing it. And I it appreciate you a lot. lot. Yeah. yeah. You guys are cool. You guys are cool. <laughs> <laughs> What excites me the most um, about sort of opening the gates and lifting our NDA and that kind of stuff is A, of course, you know, more people to experience the game that we're really, really passionate about. But I think on another level, I'm just really excited. There is a game in the extraction genre that isn't a shooter. And there's just basically an entry in a genre that I think has a lot more potential to grow. We're really excited about giving people a peek behind the curtain as we work on something to be a part of building this game with us. The people who are already in our Discord play testing and iterating with us can probably attest to how much their feedback is heard, how quickly we're reacting to that feedback. And so I'm really excited to get more people involved in that aspect. Every corner of this game we want to touch and we want to polish and we're going to work on it for as many years as we can to make it the best thing possible. Mm -hmm.